Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we are discussing the Patek Philippe 5078P-010. You can see this black lacquer dial, automatic winding, platinum Patek Philippe minute repeater on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, that one in the upper right-hand corner, to see our full sales listing for this watch, with accessories included in the sale, high-resolution images for your desktop, and naturally, complete pricing details for this Patek Philippe 5078P-010. Now, the watch has an outsized persona and gravitas, but its actual dimensions are quite compact and wearable. 38 millimeters across the round of the case, that's not including the repeater slide or the crown from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. In terms of thickness, despite a minute repeater and automatic winding, it's very slim, only 11 millimeters with a generously domed bezel that allows a dress cuff to slide up and over quite easily. Now the watch from lug to lug is a very traditional Patek Philippe, 44.5 millimeters, so in my estimation you can wear this watch on your wrist with great panache, proportion, and security, even if your wrist is as small as 13 centimeters in circumference. And you will note that it fits wonderfully well, but it has more heft than you expect. You never quite expect the mass of a platinum watch when you pick one up, and size does deceive. Of course, the watch does telegraph its platinum case, thanks to the modern Patek Philippe platinum watch signature, a flawless Vesselton diamond between the lugs at 6 o'clock. The lugs are short and downturn quite sharply after they exit the case flank, so it wears well on a small wrist by virtue of lug architecture as well. The strap is a minimalist, black rectangular scale alligator leather with a monotone stitch and folded edges, and a very traditional, if distinctively styled, Patek Philippe pin buckle for quick on-the-fly adjustments and a low profile when strapped down. The case does not lack for definition. All of platinum, extra white. You can see that it features substantial fluting of the lugs to lend them definition and strength. And while the watch has sensuous compound curves when viewed from an off angle like this, you'll also note that the junction of the bezel with the case band and the case back with the case band creates strong horizontals. So it's a little bit of yin and yang with femininity and masculinity, the strength of the masculine side, the grace of the feminine side. But there is no denying that the dial still Deals the show. Now, the 5078 debuted at Basel World 2005. In 2008, the model you see here bowed with the black lacquered dial, and the lacquer is spectacular. You may ask, why isn't it enamel? Well, the white dial is enamel, but enamel shows flaws, bubbles, ripples, small hairline cracks when you view it under a loop, and those tend to show in excessively pronounced fashion when black. Just think of a black car and how hard it is to hide marks. So Patek Philippe renders most of its upscale black dials in lacquer, with precious few issued in enamel. The contrast is outstanding. You can see the stylized Roman numerals, you can see the traditional railroad-style minute track outboard, and you'll note in this application, Patek, which is on again, off again with this feature, has used the Watchmaker's Style 4. Beautiful foist style leaf hands at center and a recessed countersunk sub seconds track at 6 o'clock with its own miniature railroad track. The watch is just as engaging on the case back, and in fact, we may just run the minute repeater again for the pleasure of it, but also so you can see that the governor is hidden underneath the golden filigree style Calatrava cross. Beautifully disguised, you can see it in action. So let's advance our minute repeater because we don't want to just hear one hour chime, we want to hear at least a couple. So since we were joking about that watchmaker's four, we may as well choose four hours. Let's get ourselves three quarters and run it right up to the turn of the clock. Try to grab as many minutes as we can. Watch underneath the cross and you'll see the governor start to spin and then stop. There we go. Like I said, perhaps more theatrical on its case back than its dial side. You're looking at the Patek Philippe manufacturer caliber R27PS. R for repeater, 27 for the diameter in millimeters, and PS for petite seconde, small seconds on the dial. Now, it is a automatic winding movement that's beautiful in that you have the automatic winding, but with the rotor in the same plane as the other bridges, it doesn't obscure the view. Plus, it maintains a very slim profile. Automatic 
with a 48 hour power reserve and no date. You can simply wear this watch every day, set it and forget it. Of course, you won't want to forget it because of the beauty of the minute repeater and the pleasure of the case back, but in many ways, even without dial luminescence, you're set day or night because the repeater has your back and the repeater is beautifully finished. Now you can see that this one was likely built between Basel Worlds in 2009 and the present, as it bears the Patek Philippe seal rather than the Geneva Hallmark. You can see it to good advantage here. The Patek Philippe seal was created in July 2009. That's when it started going on to movements. And this particular variant of the 5078 has been phased out. So you're looking at something built between roughly mid-2009 and perhaps 2015 or 16. Of course, the owner of this watch will receive full documentation with the exact dates. I just like to illuminate some of the physical features of a Patek Philippe that can be used to roughly gauge its age. You'll also note that in any age, those beautifully textured Cote de Genève across the bridge is simply stunned. There's black polish on both the repeater hammers, which also feature a beautiful mirrored anglage rounded transition to their flanks, which are satin finished, and of course the gongs finished the same standard. You'll note that all of the screws have black polished heads with chamfered slots, and although it's somewhat obscured, there's a tight and even perlage across the base plate below the Gyromax style balance beating away at 21,600 vibrations per hour. Gyromax, a free sprung balance architecture, has been used by Patek Philippe since about 1950. And free sprung, it allows the watch to take and hold a precise regulation. Generally, also in the face of bumps, vibrations, or disruptions on the wrist, it's simply more durable. You can see and you can purchase this extraordinary Platinum Automatic Minute Repeating Patek Philippe 5078P-010 on our website.